two be, things. I yeah, think that this was – I don't think that Owen considers this a outing. Uh, Teal was already out within his community. Everyone knew it. He, he was, was writing quietly. about something. Just the same way Tim Cook yes, and but he'd already Anderson been, Cooper was. He'd already been a very successful – person okay. in Silicon Valley as yes. a gay man openly. And, and no, no, he it just was not open. It, it might well, have been open at a gay party. It was not open yeah, amongst... Open isn't 20 people at your house, right? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't... Like, if you went... If you the asked 100 people at Silicon hard. Valley... I, mean, yeah. I I see both sides. There are a lot of people who Well, what's who your think, position on it? I, I honestly don't know. I mean, there are a lot of people who think yeah. that... Uh, outing someone is good and outing a public figure is good and that it reminds like young people across America that there are lots of like important gay people hmm. in the world like actors and investors yeah. and all of that um, and then obviously there's personal privacy I, the politics of outing are really hard yeah Jessica with Tim Cook if people had known he was gay been a shoe in or been as easily um, placed as CEO of Apple, could that have caused a problem if he didn't take his time to come out amongst people who were investors in the company, in your mind? And I'll have you so. answer that too, Nelly. I don't think so. But I also respect his privacy for not wanting to. Right. Um, but I, I don't think if he had wanted to earlier, it would have affected. Um, Ten years ago? Well. Maybe. Probably. I probably. mean, a yeah. lot's changed. What do you right? think, Nelly? And, that's, I mean, I do think that's yeah. a fair point. Nelly, 10 years ago... You know, Anderson Cooper, if he was out before he had ascended to the ranks in, in, at CNN or even Peter or Tim Cook, do you think they would have had an easier time in their career or a harder time? I don't know. I can answer it. I mean... They would have had a much harder time. And I think that's the thing that people are not missing about this whole story. I, I, we all look at the world through... Go ahead. What you want to... Well, uh, for me personally, Let I've grown up in a bubble. Like I live in San Francisco. Yes. I, I lived in New York, and and yeah. this is all I know about being a queer person. Right. Um, I I really don't think what Owen wrote was some nasty outing with like malicious intent, or even really an outing. I think this man was already a well-known gay person within his community, and this was just like he literally ended it with like the ended this post. Uh, with like good, for, he's gay and good for him, or something like that. And this is written yeah. by a gay guy. Like well, it's, a it's a celebration. It's a celebration of a leader an, within the community. But it's an outing. If anything, it was an outing. It's an outing. Is, I think you're wrong on this one. Because here's just, the thing: the people in the industry. I was disingenuous there. Disingenuous. I didn't know Peter. Positive. So therefore, it doesn't. Have yeah. I mean, I, I can tell you, I, a lot of us didn't know Peter was out. Ah, uh, yes, Braintree. Thank you so much for supporting independent media like this week in startups. And when your customers pay. You're going to need to keep their information safe. This is absolutely critical. As you know, you see hacking occurring constantly and making sure that your customers' payment information and their uh, transactions are safe is critical and it's critical to Braintree. And that starts with being what's called PCI compliant. That means your business follows the security standards that have been well established now. They're a little bit complicated, but Braintree makes it super easy. And you got to protect your customers from cyber threats and your business from security breaches. As you know, we've seen over and over again, companies can lose it all if they're not PCI compliant and they're not on top of their um, security game. You need to do a complete self-assessment uh, questionnaire. It's called an SAQ to make sure you're compliant. And Braintree is the payment platform that helps you qualify for the shorter, simpler version of SAQ, the self-assessment questionnaire. So even with new security standards, you're going to be PCI compliant. I want you all to visit braintreepayments.com slash twist. Braintreepayments.com slash twist. Braintreepayments.com slash twist. Go ahead and thank at Braintree on your Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, friend feed, friendster, uh, you know, pounce, whatever you use for your social media. Go ahead and thank at Braintree for supporting independent media like This Week in Startups. That URL again, braintreepayments.com slash twist. Thank you so much to our friends at Braintree. They've been such an amazing sponsor and partner of This Week in Startups, even This Week in Startups Australia that Mark Pesci does. Yes, we're doing 20 episodes this year thanks to our friends at Braintree. And I really just, I love the product. A lot of my startups use it and it's so easy to use and you'll be PCI compliant. Okay, let's get back to this amazing episode. 